Hi, I'm Rosemary Salaji, and this is my video presentation for Critical Assignment 2 for Children's Literature, LAE 4416. Um, this is a first grade level, um, and this is for my high level readers. Um, we're working on standard LAFS, point one, point RI, point one, point one, which reads ask and answer questions about key details in a text. To begin, students will participate in a teacher read, lead al read aloud of the most magnificent thing written and illustrated by Ashley Spires. Um, the teacher will promote critical thinking by incorporating suggestions from an article written by Marilyn Price Mitchell, um, Critical Thinking, How to Grow Your Child's Mind. <coughs> Mitchell suggests ways such as teachers asking for explanations and examples, urging kids to be accurate and relevant, logical, and to show empathy in their thinking process. A thoughtful and meaningful class discussion, um, will take place before, during, and after the read aloud, then bleed over into the center activities. Center activities will be organized using large Ziploc bags labeled with um, the standard, and my high level readers um, will be coded red. This will be my red group. Um, at this level, um, well, to start, um, Students will find a title page and direction sheet. Um, at this level, the worksheets are very similar to the medium um, level readers. Um, students will begin by writing their own name, the book title, and author. Um, great review from kindergarten. Then they'll write three sentences about the main character's traits and three sentences about the setting. This is designed, um, designed to get the, the students thinking um, about the character, their traits, and um, about the setting. <coughs> Moving on. Um, use complete sentences for each. Tell how the character feels in the pictures below. So during the read aloud, talk about the character's feelings and how they change throughout the story. And then students will write um, at least one sentence to go along with each picture. And the last page um, is on setting. Students will write their name, draw a picture of the setting, and then they'll um, compare and contrast um, the, the setting in the story <coughs> to their own home. <coughs> The final page is my um, rubric, which I labeled um, with the standard on the top. Um, this was suggested by Rainy Dalfo. I thought that was a great suggestion. Um, the rubric is in categories, um, identify and discuss main character trait and feelings, um, setting of the story, creating an illustration of the setting, partner reading, name on paper, and following directions. It's on a 15-point scale. And that's it.